Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the custom mapping buttons on your Razer Kishi V2. And if you don't know what that looks like, it looks like this one that has an actual back support, not the one that can close down to be more convenient. So just once again, make sure you have the V2, which is the one that looks like this. So I have the S23 Ultra and this is what we're going to be working with. So without further ado, we talked a little bit about what you need, all that good stuff. Now there's one more very important thing I forgot to mention before we go right into the app and using the um, using the virtual controller, is that if you have the gaming hub, this little purple thing right there, the gaming hub, if you click on that, and let's say you just pick a game, I'm gonna pick uh, Free Fire. So I have Free Fire up, we're just gonna swipe up, and you see right here this little gaming thing? You want to make sure that the priority mode is turned off. If you have priority mode on, it'll stop all overlays. It'll stop everything from your phone, which you need your overlay to play this. So as I said previously, uh, here we are. We have our gaming hub. I have Genshin Impact, uh, Free Fire, Undawn, all this good stuff. I already have these games preset, but um, let's go ahead and open up. Uh, this is downloading right now, but this is perfect. As you can see, it's there. There's no hub here. What you want to do is make sure that you go right here on your gaming hub and you want to make sure priority mode is off because if it's on, it'll block all this other stuff and you won't be able to use an overlay, which the Razer Kishi needs to be able to have the overlay to be able to apply everything that it's going to be doing and you putting the key button maps on there. Just going to plug it into the USB-C. Just like that all right and we are ready to go so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna make sure to use a virtual controller and we're gonna press on it and now we're here so now we have this overlay and now we're gonna take our left joystick put it right over where we walk we're gonna have our our oh well oh, I don't know what that is we're not gonna do that we're gonna take our right joystick and we're gonna put it right here like somewhere you know where we can use the camera we're gonna put our buttons. We obviously want our jump button to be this. We want our attack button to be X. Well, we'll move that right there. We want, uh, you know, our special button, you know, where we use our special. Uh, maybe we want that to be like Y. And then we want our run button to be, oh, you know, actually, we're gonna move that away. So. So right now, just with that, we can now see that we can walk around, we can attack, we can jump, right? So we have this all figured out. But uh, what I realized was we don't have an archery attack. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to an archery character, and we're actually going to go here, and we're going to put the right button right here so we can aim. So let's check that out. So now we can aim... We have everything we need. We can, how do we attack? How do we, how do we do this? Oh, like that, okay. So, now we find our other button and we put this one right here with our R button right there. Now, we can shoot like that. Great. So, and we just go in and go out of it. Perfect. So now, since we have that button with R2 there, we have to figure out something else to put for run. So what I like to do for run is have this pre button right here at the very top. And now we have that scheduled to run. So watch this. Now I can just run like that and we can hold it down while we run. Perfect. And so to change characters, I would just tap this and use the touch screen, but we have mostly this taken care of, but and we have Y for our that attack. We have our normal attack. But what should we have? Whoa, whoa, what is R going to? What is... What is R2? Or what is... Right 2? What is right 2 going to? Let's see. It's going right there. But I guess... I guess when we don't have it angled, it just takes us somewhere. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. 
So now we need like a special attack, and I guess we can use this button right here for our special. Uh, we had, didn't really set anything for it, so we'll just go ahead and put that right there as our special. We're just going to have to remember that. So let's switch to another character, and let's see how well it turns out. So we have this. We can't really use R2. I have no idea why this is going to that to that area, but we have this. We have We have the run. Actually, we could use B for run, now since I think about it. We could do that. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of this button map. Or we don't have to get rid of it. We just have to change it. So now we can run with B, jump with A, this with this, use our special with Y, and we are taken care of. And then our special, when it loads up, we can use that. Well, hopefully you guys can see this. I was getting a little bit lax on the controller. But uh, hopefully you guys can see how I set this up, and now you can start playing Geshin Impact. So this is how it is on Razer Kishi. And just so I can show you how to play a different game, so now we're going to add that to our favorite. These are my main games. So let me just go ahead and show you, uh, for instance, uh, Free Fire. So this is Free Fire. I have everything already preset, so I have the trigger right here. I have Jump, I have Crouch, I have um, to get Down. I have changing weapons out. I have run. So it's it's a pretty nice setup, and I do prefer this a lot better, but you just have to make sure to have your things open. Well, thank you so much for coming to the video. If you guys want to know and uh, have any questions, please just let me know on the video, and that's it. Thank you for coming to the video.